Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Now what is locus? Locus is collection of points that satisfy a given consistent geometric condition. Locus is the set of points or the collection of only those points which satisfy a given consistent geometric condition. Now from the definition what we understand is any point on the locus should satisfy the given geometric condition and if a point satisfies the geometric condition then it should be a point on the locus. So now what is equation of locus because we see the problems where they say that find the locus or find the equation of the locus. What is equation of locus? Equation of locus of a point is algebraic equation in x and y satisfied by the points x comma y on the locus alone. What's the meaning of that? Equation of locus is expressing the geometric condition in terms of an algebraic equation which is satisfied a by a point x comma y. So let us say that x comma y, a point with x comma y coordinates satisfies the locus. Now this geometric condition, can I represent it, can I represent it or express it algebraically in a form of equation. If I am able to do that, then it is called as equation of locus. Let us look at some simple examples so that we can understand the concept of locus. Let us say we want to find out locus of the points which satisfy the condition that their distance from a point h comma k is always equal to r. Let us say we want to find out the locus of points which satisfy equation that their distance from a point h comma k is always r. Now how will we do that? That means we know that h comma k is fixed but x comma y wherever you say lo lo point that point is a variable arbitrary point so it can take any values. Now this point is fixed we want to find out all the points such a way that they are always at a distance of r. Now by this time you understand that we are talking about the circle. So equation of locus of this particular condition is nothing but a circle. How we get it? We know the distance formula. We can write down distance between two points x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square square root is equal to r or can I say x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. That means if you have a fixed point h comma k and you want to know the all the points which are satisfying the geometric condition that the, their distance from x comma y, their distance from h comma k is r, then it is nothing but a locus. Locus is nothing but a circle with center as the fixed point and the distance is nothing but r. So we understood this part that if you give me a point and say that I want to know all the points which are at a particular distance from this particular point. Let us say two units. This is 0 comma 0. Now I know that that the locus is nothing but a circle. So maybe that may not look like a circle. Let us say the locus is nothing but what is the locus? How to find out the locus? What we have to do? We have to arbitrarily look at the different options and see what, what is the path it is traversed by these points. If I am able to understand that, then we can easily find out the locus. Let us take another interesting example. Let us say that suppose there are two points A comma B. Now you want to find out the locus of points 
which will satisfy the condition that they are equal distance from A and B. They are equidistant from A and B. What is the meaning of that? The meaning is if there is a point P, then I want to have the condition, geometric condition that PA equal to PB. I want to have PA equal to PB. I want to know the equation of the locus which satisfy this particular condition. So what I will do now, what I said earlier, locus means I have to understand how the path is traversed by these different points. Now, once you tell me that the point should be equidistant, the first thing what I will do is, I will go ahead and say that, oh, then my P can be here because I know that midpoint of AB is equal distance from, equal distance from that equal distance from A and B. That means PA equal to PB. Now, this is good. I understood one point. Now, how the second point will be, I don't know. So, what I will do now, I let us say that I will extend this line because I know it will be a line only and I will make it as P dash. Now, I have to find out P and P dash, what type of a line it is. For that, what I will do, I will join P dash to A and P dash to B. Now, we know that P dash A is equal to P dash B because that is the condition we have to satisfy. We have to know all the points which satisfy their equidistance from two points. So, we know P dash A equal to P dash B. We also know P P dash is equal to P P dash. We know P A equal to P B. We know P dash A equal to P dash B. That means we have SSS congruency. By CPCT, we know that these two angles are equal, but they also add up to 180 degrees. So, angle A P P dash plus angle B P P dash is equal to 180 degrees. Not only that, we know angle A P P dash is equal to angle B P P dash. Before that, what I have written, shall I write down those steps? In triangle, A P P dash comma B P P dash, we know A P equal to B P. Why? Because P is a point which is satisfying that particular condition. So, A P equal to B P. We have P P dash is common in both of them. We also know P dash A equal to P dash B because that is the condition that needs to be satisfied. So, uh, SSS congruency, then we know by CPCT that these two angles are equal but they also add up to 180 degrees that means each angle is equal to 90 degrees now what is this line now what is this line called P, P dash which is dividing AB into two equal parts but at the same time it is also at 90 degrees we know very simple it is a right bisector so what we understood from this dis discussion that uh, if you have two points, you want to find out the locus of the points which are at equal distance from those two points, that is nothing but right bisector of that particular line. So, two things we learned. One thing is if you have a point and you want to have a locus of the points which are at equidistant from that particular point, then it is a circle circle with center as the point given and the distance is nothing, nothing but radius and if you want to have a locus of the points which are equidistant from given two points then we understood that that is nothing but right bisector of that particular line how we understood that the first thing we know a comma b are two points i want to have p a equal to p b the best option will be nothing but the midpoint so we know p is a point on the locus now once i know p i am searching for another point p dash now if i take p dash as another point which satisfies the geometric condition p a equal to p b that means p dash a equal to p dash b we know PA equal to PB, P dash A equal to P dash B, PP dash is PP dash. Congruency by applying, we know these two angles are equal to 90 degrees. That means PP dash is a line which divides AB into two equal parts and at the same time it is also at 90 degrees to AB. That means 
PP dash is perpendicular bisector or right bisector of the line segment AB. So tomorrow if somebody asks us that what is the locus of the points which are at equidistant from two points immediately we will say the equation of the locus is equation of the right bisector of the line segment AB. You know the points A and B, find out the midpoints, you know the slope of AB, inverse it reciprocally to multiply with minus 1, you have the slope you have the point you can easily find find out the equation by using point slope form so let's continue we'll try to do now let us say that suppose two line segments are there we want to find out the equation of locus of all the points which are at equidistance from two line segments let us see how we can do that let us say that there are two line segments which are intersecting with each other let us say there are two line segments which are intersecting with each other. Now we want to find out locus of the points which are equal distance from these two lines. These two lines. We want to find out the locus of a point which is equidistant from these two intersecting straight lines. Let us give them the names. Let us say A, B and this is C and D. Now we want to find out the locus of the point which is equidistant from these two line segments. What I will do? Let us say P is a point on this particular let us say P is a point of the locus which satisfies this condition that distance from P to the line segment A is to the line AB is also equal to to the line CD. So what is the meaning of that? Let us say this point of intersection is O. Now what is the meaning of distance of a point from a line? We already know that distance of point to a line is always perpendicular distance. So these two are 90 degrees angles because we know that the distance between a point and a line is always given by the perpendicular distance. What we will do, we will do one simple thing, we will join P and O. Now, I have to find out the equation of this line OP. Now, what is OP? That is what I have to find out. So what is OP? For that what I will do, we will do again go back and do little bit of congruency. We know, let us take this as M and N and what we have been given is that PM equal to PN because the locus of the point which are equal distance from the line segments so we will write down in triangle POM comma PON we know that PO equal to PO that is the common side reflex property and we also know PM equal to PN because that is the geometric condition to be satisfied we know PM equal to PN that's a construction we have done but actually we also know that's a geometric condition that needs to be satisfied and we know that angle PMO is equal to angle PNO is equal to 90 degrees. That tells me that these two triangles are congruent to each other. Triangle POM is congruent to triangle PON by RHS congruency by CPCT. What I have by CPCT? By CPCT, important thing we are understanding now that angle POM is equal to angle PON. POM equal to PON. What is the meaning of angle POM equal to angle PON? That means this angle is equal to this angle. Now tell me what the line OB will be if OB, if what the line OP will be if angle POM equal to PON. That is nothing but 
angular bisector so what we understood by this discussion if there are two lines which are intersecting with each other then the locus of points which are equidistant from these two line segments is nothing but angular bisector remember the first case it is circle second case it is right bisector because we are talking about two points now we are talking about two intersect lines so op is right bisector op is right bisector so we can write down op sorry not right bisector it's a angle bisector op is angular bisector because it divides the angle here into two equal parts and similarly when you do similarly if you try to find out another point also you will understand that op dash also op op dash all will be lying on one line that is nothing but angular bisector so three things we learned that if there is a point you want all the points equidistant from a point then the locus is circle if you want a point uh, if you want locus of a point which are equidistant from two points then it is the right, right bisector of the line segment joining those two points and if you have two intersecting lines and you want to find out the locus of the points which are equidistant from these two line segments then that is the angular bisector of the line segment that is the angular bisector of the line segment so in the next segment we will next session we will try to do some simple problems we will take the locus We'll take the point which satisfies the locus as x1 comma y1 then we'll try to put the geometric condition try to express it in algebraic equation way and at the end we will remove x1 y1 and make it as x and y so we'll do some interesting examples in the coming session thanks for your time and support keep smiling and sharing bye